while I was at ASU, I was called to play. Uh, Henry Mancini did all of these tours right, that yeah. went around. Well, I got the call uh, to do that. Um, and so that changed my, that really changed my whole uh, projection of what I wanted to do. So since we're there, yeah, I know a little bit, you've told me a little bit about the story. Uh, tell me about the uh, magical snare drum <laughs> solo uh, out of necessity with Henry Mancini. Yeah, well, we everything was going great. I mean, here I'm a this 18 is year old kid in college. In college, and you just started at ASU. Yeah, and I'm 18, and he came 18 town. and a half. Yeah, he came town, and it was kind of like the pops orchestra. Okay, and 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 it wasn't. Um, it was being held at ASU, but it was all professional musicians in the Phoenix area. There might have been a couple of um, graduates from ASU, but it was like the professional strings, everything. So <clears throat> the, the uh, concert's going great. I'm just great. I'm up on a, a riser. By uh, yourself? Huh? By yourself? Yeah, by myself. Okay. And uh, below me is his piano. And, um, and he would be playing piano and then conducting. Oh, and then he did both. He'd stand up and conduct out in front of that. So we're doing Peter Gunn, and um, I'm playing, and my bass drum is starting to slide <laughs> forwards. And I go, whoa, this, I think it's all right. You know, I think I'll be okay. There's only one more tune, right? Yeah. And we're playing. I'm, I mean, we just started Peter Gunn, and I'm playing pretty strong. Oh, it is and Peter it's Gunn. sliding, yeah. Oh, this, this is, is the, the last, the third encore. And it's sliding forwards. I go, oh, it's okay. Well, it wasn't okay. It started sliding further and further <laughs> forward until I'm going, oh, no. I'm basically, one spur goes off the edge of my um, riser. Yeah. And I'm up eight feet in the air now. And then the other one starts sliding off. And I'm basically holding my bass drum on with my foot on the bass drum pedal. And there was a two-bar drum fill uh, at this one point, and I go, I have to play the kick drum, you know, the bass drum, i got to play it. I have to punch this thing. Yeah. And he is out now, he's standing up, conducting, and, and there is about a three-foot space between my... Uh, riser and the piano, so it's not like the piano's not right up against it, but it's mm -hmm. there. And he's doing, he's conducting and everything. And my two-bar drum break, break comes, and I play this fill, and I go, bam, with the bass drum, and the whole bass drum just goes over the the <laughs> edge, and I just sent. There were so many conflicting and just. <laughs> crazy feelings at the time I, you know i went oh my gosh my career is over I the, just, onto the piano no it fell in, in between, between oh, okay, that okay. space wow. he is still now we're not done is because we got like... another probably 24 bars until the oh. song is ended and and he's conducting and what he does <laughs> the whole bass drum goes down cymbal <laughs> sticks up in the air and everything <laughs> he's conducting and he just bends down and is looking underneath the piano. Now, there's 3,000 people at Granny, and they are just screaming. This was like the best show. They were, this was awesome. To me, I just wanted to crawl in they a hole and They all noticed what had happened? They oh, all, yeah. And they were excited. I, I was, it, they saw the whole thing go They off. thought it was part of the thing, probably. <laughs> I guess. Part of the show. But I thought, well, I'm done. And, um, and so uh, the show's over. Everybody is, they're just laughing and they're coming. It's a, you know, everything. That's a way to end a show <laughs> to me. And I'm, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm never going to get a call again. And so I, I feel bad. I want to go up to Mr. Mm -hmm. Mancini Apologize. and yeah. say, man, I'm sorry. That went off. And, and uh, I never did get to go up to him and talk to him. So now we have to jump 20 years. 
Okay. And, uh, and I'm in Hawaii, and Henry Mancini is coming to do another concert there with the band there. And I, <laughs> I uh, say, I know some musicians in the band, and I, I say, I want to go to rehearsal. I have to talk to him, mm -hmm. Mr. Mancini. And I get in there, and uh, so I find there's a break, and I go, Mr. Mancini, I don't know if you remember, it was about 20 years ago, and this was a concert in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and he said, you're him. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you're the guy. I have told that story all over the world. <laughs> I've never had that happen to me again, but it was great. 